Hello everyone, today we will be presenting about our project, Convolutional Neural Network Based Nutrient Deficiency Classification in Leaves of Elaic Skin Lenses, or commonly known as OIBAM. First of all, for the background of the study, OIBAM nutrient deficiency can reduce the product yield, but some OIBAM growers cannot diagnose the, the disorder by themselves, so they have to ask a specialist and analyze leaf sample in the lab, which takes time and money. So, the aim of this project is to study the relationship between the characteristic of oil palm leaf and its amount of nutrients by using deep learning to classify which nutrients that are deficient. This can be further developed to be fern application to help oil palm growers take care of their oil palm. For the methodology, it's consisting of two parts, data collection and program development. For the first part, data collection, we collected leaves from 37 trees. Each tree will use leaf number 17 for nutrient analysis and leaf number 25 to take photos. For leaf number 25, we set the camera as shown and take photo of the leaf one by one on white background. For leaf number 17, we prepared a sample and analyzed it by using two techniques. The first technique, ICT OES, is used to find the amount of potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, and boron, and we use the RAM method to find the amount of nitrogen. The second part of our methodology is program development. Here are the hardware and software specifications for this part. There are three main steps, including data augmentation, training, and testing. Since we have a small size of image dataset, the first step, data augmentation, makes more images from our original images through methods such as shearing, zooming, and flipping. Next is the training step. The architecture that we use in this project is CS Bio 2020, which is for image classification. We trained the model with training set on 90% of the data set. The inputs were images labeled with the nutrient ranges, deficiency, normal, and excess. The training had been done for 200 epochs. And for the testing step, we use the trained model from training step to predict the ranges of nutrients from leaf images in testing set. Five models had been trained and tested separately for five kinds of nutrients. Moving on to the results, the overall final testing accuracy of five models is 77.2%. Here are confusion matrices from testing step of five models, and from these confusion matrices, Three values were calculated, including precision, recall, and F1 score to determine the efficiency of classification. This graph indicates the average precision, recall, and F1 score of each model. If we take a look at F1 score, which is the harmonic mean of precision and recall, all F1 scores are around 0.7. For this question part, the first point is that if we increase the size of data by collecting more samples, the models will have more accuracy. Another point is that among collected samples, there is no oil palm tree with phosphorus deficiency, creating incomplete datasets for phosphorus model. The last point is that by looking at the confusion matrices significantly, there are some wrong classification between excess and normal classes. To conclude, this project collecting data of nutrient analysis and photos of all palm leaves, then use deep learning to classify photos into three groups of leaf nutrients, which are deficiency, normal, and excess. The overall testing accuracy of five models is 77.2%. The overall precision, recall, and F1 score are 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and 0 0.747 respectively. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.